Okay, so this video is all about these things. This is a 510 atomizer, brand new. You have a look inside, it's a regular atomizer, not a low resistance. If you have a look inside, you can see the material there over the bridge, everything's intact. Now, I had a problem with these when I first started vaping. Um, basically, all of this material seemed to get gunked up, and the wick and everything else inside there began to get burnt, which meant that after about two days, the atomizer was effectively useless. I mean, yeah, it was producing heat, no problem at all, but I was getting a disgusting burnt taste, and this is something I've seen again, on, again and again on, on forums, um, and lots of people have complained about this. So, um, now this first part part of the mod isn't my mod. Okay, this isn't something that I've developed myself, um, but I've tried to adapt um, what's already been done to provide a more effective solution to this problem. Okay, so the second stage, once you've got your atomizer, and do this with an old one first, don't, don't try doing this with a new one, it's, it's really not worth it, they cost so much money. Okay, so this is an atomizer with a, um, an exposed bridge here, you can see all the, all the material has been plucked off with tweezers, that's the next stage of the process. And then finally, you should end up with something like this, which is an, which is a, an empty atomizer shell, and you can see there that the um, the coil is pretty much the only thing there we can see is is fairly exposed. I haven't taken all of the fiberglass off of this. Um, it, it, I've tried this before and I've I've ended up destroying the uh, the coil itself. So if you've got a really fine pair of tweezers, you can try this. But otherwise, to be honest, it's it's a pretty risky operation. Okay. So you've got your empty shell atomizer. Now this is perfect for dripping. Um, you, you basically drip straight onto the coil. You have a what other what other people call a perfect dripping machine. Um, only one problem with this: you have to drip pretty constantly. So you know every I would say every 10, 15 puffs you're going to be dripping again, and you can only really drip one or two drops at a time because the atomizer is likely to flood. So basically the, I've, I've just added this really simple mod um, using pipe screens and again pipe screens isn't something which I've developed myself um, this is a pretty simple thing but I found it helps me and I'm, I'm hoping it will help you too. So basically you get hold of these things um, I guess any brand is okay these are the only ones I can find. I can find those specs on the on the packet itself, which 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 relate to size, shape, material. But I know these ones are made of brass. You can see they basically look like this. I guess it's about this one's about an inch in diameter, roughly two centimeters. Um, okay, so you want two of these. You want to double them up, and you want to take a pair of scissors and basically cut an incision from the rim of the circle into the center like that and then you take one side of this and you basically make a cone a cone shape or what I call a witch's hat okay so you should have something like that okay and you've finished I would make it a little bit tighter. Now remember this is going to fit into, not into your cartridge, which is what I've seen other people do, um, but this is going to fit straight into your atomizer. So you should have quite a tight thing there. It's got to go, it's got to fit into your atomizer, but you don't want it to be too loose. So let's just have a look at the atomizer now, see if that fits in okay. Right, that's a little bit too tight and a little bit too long. Next thing you want to do is to when you've tightened that up, it's just to blunt the end of it. Remember this is going to go straight against the coil. So just push that against the surface, squash that down a little bit, to give you a kind of bullet shape. Okay, and you should end up with something that looks pretty much like that. I hope you can see that clearly. So you're going to take your already modded atomizer and you're going to drop that inside give it a push down, make sure it's about 2 mil from the top, you can see the distance there. Now that will hold probably 
maybe not in all in one go, but that will, that will hold about six or seven, maybe eight drops of liquid. You want to go gradually with it. Add two or three to start off with, give it a few puffs, um, add a few more, go slowly with it. After a while you will find this, this is a perfect reservoir and it will basically slow drip liquid straight onto the coil um, allowing you to drip for, I can get about 15-20 minutes out of this at a time. Um, you may find it's more effective um, you know, adding uh, larger amounts of liquid at a time. See how it goes. And the most important thing is that you've got enough space around the uh, pipe screen filler there and that it fits the cartridge. If I turn this upside down it shouldn't fall out. Okay. Now you've probably got cartridges like this for your 510. Um, you're going to have to adapt these in order to fit these into the atomizer. Um, if you cut just here by the ridge um, which is about two three millil millimeters down you should be able to fit that straight onto the atomizer without any problem. I've got one here which is a similar design but without that um, extra section and you'll find that you can basically push that straight onto that like that which is very flush. So let's just try dripping some liquid into that now and see how that goes. Okay, so I'm just going to drip straight into there. One, two, three. And you see that it, it's kind of puddling in the middle there. Leave it, for a, leave it for a few minutes. It takes a while to absorb the liquid. And I would recommend a fairly thick liquid for this. Don't put um, pure PG liquids into this. I mean, that's not good for dripping anyway, but especially not good for this. Um, maybe twiddle it around a little bit if you've got a, a paper clip or tweezers or something like that um, just to open those pores up um, just manipulate that slightly you won't have to do this all the time this is just the first time you put it in sometimes uh, there's not enough air in there to let the liquid through um, okay so basically just leave that a few minutes again you won't have to do this all the time um, and that will absorb a surprisingly large amount of liquid allowing you to vape for a long time so again like I say puff this a few times first come back to it add a little bit more liquid puff again add a little bit more liquid um, I think this will I think this will uh, this will help you considerably make life a lot easier for you if you're having those burning problems or um, you're not happy with dripping every two seconds I think this is a ticket